Well, Narendra Modi again took a dig at the Gandhi family. BJP's prime ministerial nominee raised the poll pitch while addressing a rally at Dumaria Ganj. Playing his caste card yet again, Modi lashed out at the Congress today. He said that those in the Congress taunted him for being an ordinary tea vendor. But he claimed that he just sold tea and didn't sell the nation. <laughs> चाय बेचने वाला देश चलाएगा क्या भाई जो है ना हमने चाय ही तो बेची है देश को नहीं बेचा ना हमने चाय ही तो बेची है देश को नहीं बेचा ना Earlier in the day, while responding to Priyanka Gandhi's low-level politics jibe, Narendra Modi said that he's from the backward class. That is why they think his politics is low-level politics. Modi went on to ask whether being born in a backward class is a crime. In a sharp retort to Priyanka Gandhi's barb of indulging in low-level politics, Modi today invoked his backward class status to further mount the attack on Congress's star campaigner. मैं इस बात का तो इनकार नहीं कर सकता हूं कि मैं नीची जाति में पैदा हुआ हूं लेकिन मेरे भाई बताइए क्या नीची जाति में पैदा होना ये गुना है क्या आप मुझे बताइए क्या नीची जाति में पैदा होना गुना है क्या कोई मुझे बताए मैंने नीति जाति में पैदा होकर के कभी किसी जाति पर नफरत की है क्या किसी बड़े बुजुर्गों का अपमान किया है क्या मैं हैरान हूं मुझ पर इतना बड़ा गंदा आरोप लगा दिया गया भाई बहनों ये तो इतिहास की सच्चाई है कि मैं नीची जाति में पैदा हुआ हूं लेकिन मैं देश से भरोसा देता हूं मेरी राजनीति निम्न स्तर की नहीं है मैं पैदा हुआ हूं नीची जाति में लेकिन मेरा सपना है एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत ये मेरा सपना है और भाई बहनों जो लोग बड़े बड़े महलों में रहते हैं वही बात न भूले कि आपकी जो जिंदगी की शान और शौकत है उसका कारण है कि सदियों से सदियों से हम नीच जाति लोगों ने पसीना बहाया है हम दीप जाति के लोगों ने कुछ लोग बनने की आशा के बिना आपकी जिंदगी सलामत रहे आप सुखी रहे आपके चेहरे की चमक बरकरार रहे इसलिए हमने हमारी जिंदगी हमारे पूर्वजों ने हमारे पूर्वजों ने आपके लिए हमारी जिंदगी नौछावर कर दी थी आप मोदी का जितना अपमान करना है कर दीजिए आप मोदी को जितनी गालियां है देनी है दे दीजिए आप मोदी को फांसी पर लटकाना है लटका दीजिए लेकिन मेरे नीच जाति के भाइयों का अपमान मत कीजिए well, that was uh, Narendra Modi's angry retort to Priyanka Gandhi's uh, low-level politics uh, jibe. Well, the war of words between uh, the BJP PM candidate and the star campaigner from the Congress continues unabated. And moving on to some other news now, Salman Khan has been identified by two witnesses as having exited the car from the driver's side in the 2002 hit and run case. Salman is being retried for culpable homicide not amounting to murder in a Mumbai court. If convicted, he could face a jail sentence of up to 10 years. 
The actor dressed in jeans and a striped shirt is in court accompanied by sisters Alvira and Arpita. On December 5th last year, the court ordered a fresh trial after charges against the actor were enhanced to culpable homicide not amounting to murder. After several delays, the retrial began on April 29th with a partial deposition of one witness. Salman was earlier being tried for the lesser offence of causing death by negligence, which carries a punishment of up to two years in jail. Well, there we have it. Uh, Salman Khan uh, definitely has no good news in store this time around as uh, two witnesses who deposed before the court have reportedly identified him, stating that he was the one who had exited the car soon after the accident took place. Well, Salman Khan is being uh, retried for culpable homicide not amounting to murder. If uh, convicted, Salman Khan could face up to 10 years in jail. Well, this is the case of the 2002 hit and run where uh, Salman Khan claimed that he was not driving the car and that he wasn't even present inside the car. And uh, he faced a smaller charge of uh, death due to negligence. But in December last year, the charge was uh, elevated to culpable homicide not amounting to murder. While death due to negligence carries with it a maximum punishment of two years, culpable homicide not amounting to murder could uh, result in Salman getting a sentence of 10 years if found guilty. And well, the much-awaited verdict in the medium of instruction in private schools was announced today by the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court has given its verdict in favor of the schools as well as the parents, as opposed to the government of Karnataka and various other litig litigants. Well, uh, in fact, the Kannada medium, which was made mandatory by the Karnataka government in the year 1994, was uh, unanimously struck down by the Karnataka High Court. The Karnataka government then uh, decided to approach the Supreme Court and today the Supreme Court has decided that it is against the democratic right of any individual to be forcefully taught any language. The government had mandated even the unaided private primary school set up after 1994 to teach only in Canada. The High Court had ruled that it was a violation of the fundamental rights of the promoters and owners of Karnataka's 11,954 unaided or independent primary schools. The government had then challenged the High Court's order in the Apex Court and today the Apex Court said that uh, what medium a child studies in is a discretion of the parent.